Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Daniela Untoyan and I'm a 500 level medical student at Now University of Nigeria in Abuja. In today's video, I'll be sharing five things I wish I knew before I started medical school because to be honest, if I could go back, there are some things I would have loved to change. So let's get into the video. Also, you might want to stick around to the end because there's actually something very, 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 very important I want to share for anyone that's coming to medical school. Yeah, so stay to the end, okay? I wish I knew that it wasn't what I wanted to do. Yeah, I might be shocking, but I wish I knew. Like, I wish I actually knew, 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 knew within my spirit. Like, no, there's no way I'm doing this. Because, <clears throat> to be honest, like, there's nothing fascinating I really saw in the profession. So I'm like, why would I want to do that? After I graduated secondary school, I was very, very uncertain what I really wanted to do. Because, you know, as much as I was inclined towards, like, technical drawing, for that math, like, the calculating stuff, I also couldn't picture myself as an engineer. Because it just didn't make sense to me. Like, I really didn't know what I wanted to be. So, in that moment of self-doubt and, you know, and then my mom, you know, this kind of passive-aggressive, like, you're passing a subliminal message to somebody. That's what she did. If you ask her now, she's going to deny but that's what she did. So, I was like, okay. Let me study the medicine. I was so scared of failure. I was scared of like doing something and feeling at it. And then it's like, oh, I told you so. I told you to do medicine. Do you get that kind of thing? That's how I just decided to study medicine. But baby, I wish I knew that it wasn't for me. Like now I've made peace with it. I'm in my fifth year. Come on. Like it doesn't make sense for me to go anywhere at this point. So I'm just going to plug it out. Like get to the end. But it has cost me a lot actually. And I wish I knew. No, 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 no that this wasn't for me. Secondly, I wish I knew the study techniques that works for me. So not everybody studies the same way. Not everybody learns, not everybody processes things the same way. So I wish I knew what worked for me. Growing up as a naturally talented, smart child in school, I never really learned to study. I just, I felt like, oh, I just have it. Either got it or you don't, and I happen to have it. Praise the Lord. Oh, I shut that. Honestly, it ain't no tutorial. You either got it or you don't. And I happen to have it. Praise the Lord. Oh, I shut that. <laughs> that was my life for like secondary. Okay, secondary school I studied, but I didn't really know what I was studying. I didn't know that, okay, this is why this method of studying works for me. Do you get? So in medical school, I've had to do a lot of unlearning and learning and, you know, trying to just figure out what helps me learn. And the next thing I wish I knew is how suffocating this profession is, for lack of a better word. Because it's not all that. It's not what they painted to us as kids. Definitely not. Being in medicine leaves no time for a work-life balance. It's like, oh, if you're in medicine, you shouldn't have a life. That's what our seniors would tell us, our consultants, our senior consultants, our professors. It's like, if you're in medicine, you shouldn't have a life. You should be on call every day. You should be on call every day, morning to night. Da, 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 da. You should... <sighs> Like, the way we don't have breaks, we are literally always the first to resume and the last to close in this school. Like, at this point, I don't, I don't have semesters. I hope you know. We don't have semesters. So it's just on, based on vibe. Whenever you feel like, okay, I can't do this anymore, you go to your house for one week and recover, then come back. This is not a way to live. I'm sorry. So, <sighs> you can run while we still can, you know. Some of us don't have that luxury. It doesn't end. Do you feel like it ends when you're a student? But I mean, when you're a house officer, you see 1,000 times more than Shige. Especially if you're not in the national hospital. It's actually very, 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 very crazy. I wish I knew. I mean, they told me, but I didn't take it seriously. I wish I knew that in medicine, it's not about talent. It's not about who is smart. You know, you can leave your jam score in secondary school come empty not not come empty but like come humble to medical school because it will humble you it's definitely not about who is smart who is more talented blah blah blah, blah. nobody cares about your work result or your jam score it's about discipline and consistency literally so if you can master those two i mean you're a doctor already i wish i knew the power of having your own tribe and your own support group in this medical because everybody is not your friend that should be number one okay no that should be number two everybody is not your friend and it's so funny because like <laughs> it's already so hard so why are you trying to make it harder but i mean human beings we're always human beings know your people in medical school because you guys literally help each other get through everything like a lot of times you'll be down you won't have motivation to study you'll be depressed about your score or something like you just need that encouraging word or you just need that 
friend you can you know lean on in tough times you get so that kind of needs to support group you guys can even come together and do discussions practice past questions together ask each other questions encourage each other even do non-academic things together too to help your mental states is very 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 important you would actually benefit a lot if you have that if you take away only one thing from this video i want you to take away this thing i'm about to say make sure it is really what you want make sure it is really what you want make sure you're not doing this for anybody your mother your father your brother your sister your uncles and aunties in the villages that are counting on you to take the family out of the trenches they don't matter it's your life so make sure this is really what you want if not ah ah <laughs> you're gonna hit yourself in there six years is a long time and not just that it's six years going by, the level of uh, the intensity of the program is not something that you do just because. Do you get? You have to make up your mind. And actually, that conviction you have at the beginning will help you get through very, very tough times. Next, focus on putting one foot in front of the other one. Like, I get this question a lot. You're 100 level, you ask me about 500 level. Why? Do you even know you if you even reach 500 level? I'm not trying to be negative. I'm just trying to be real here. Focus on where you are. I cannot stress this enough. Like, one thing about me, if I'm in 500 level, I'm not thinking about 600 level. If I'm in 200 level, I'm not thinking about 300. I'm not thinking about, oh, see how there is. I'm, I don't care. When I get to that bridge, I'll cross it. But for now, I have to focus on what is on ground. Because if I fail this one, I'm not going to get to where I'm even worrying about. Do you get? What are your own grass? What are the grass you are standing on? You understand? Be present and have fun. I know you look at me like, look at this baby. You just need to tell me all these things. How am I supposed to have fun? There's a time for everything. Have fun. Because whether you realize it or not, your life is passing you by. As you are busy there toiling and reading, doing TDB from morning to night, all the anatomy, physiology, biochemistry, life is passing you by, baby. And I'm not saying you should neglect your studies. Of course not, are you dumb? But don't lose out on life. you only be 18 once. you only be 20 once. And before you know, by the time you're graduating, six years have gone by. You don't want to look back at six years and be saying, oh, had I known I'd have gone to the club more. I'd have hung out with my friends more. Oh, I should have tried this out. At the end of the day, you see your teenage years that are going by and your early adulthood. You want to make the best out of it that you can. I have another video giving more extensive advice about medical school, especially for medical students in Nigeria. So you should definitely check that out. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Like, subscribe, share. Thank you and bye.